In this video, we're going to be looking at integration by reversing the chain rule. I've done a previous video about using U substitution to answer these questions, but as you get more familiar with integration, you'll notice that there's a quicker method of just reversing the chain rule. So here we've got a question. We've got to integrate sine 2x plus 3 with respect to x. So we're integrating sine. So if we remember when we differentiate, we go around clockwise. When we integrate, we go anti-clockwise. So sine is going to go to negative cos. So we're going to have negative cos and we're going to keep the angle the same. So negative cos of the angle but when we differentiate, we times by the bracket differentiated. So when we integrate, we're going to do the opposite. We're going to undo that. And that means dividing by the bracket differentiated. So the bracket differentiated in this case is 2. So in this case, we divide by 2. Or I'll put times a half. So we divide. So integrate normally and divide by the bracket differentiated. So that will give us minus a half cos 2x plus 3 plus c. So integrate normally, divide by the bracket differentiated. Okay, same thing again here. So we're going to integrate around the bracket normally. So we're going to add 1 to the power. So we'll add 1 to the power, so 5 will go to 6, and divide by the new power. So we integrated around the bracket, and now we're going to divide by the bracket differentiated. So the bracket differentiated is 2, so we're going to divide by 2, or times by a half. So that will give us 12 times 7 plus 2x to the power of 6 over 12, so the 12s will cancel. So we'll have 7 plus 2x to the power of 6 plus c. So we've integrated around the bracket normally and divided by the bracket differentiated. Okay, here are three questions. You can pause the video, give these ones a go if you like, or if you want to keep watching, you can. Okay, so the first one, we're going to integrate around the bracket normally. So that will give us 4x plus 1 to the power of 4 over 4. So add 1 to the power, divide by the new power. And then we're going to divide by the bracket differentiated. So the bracket differentiated is 4. So I'll times by 1 over 4. So that gives us 4x plus 1 to the power of 4 over 16 and plus c. Okay, so we've got question two, 6 sec squared 3x with respect to x. So we're going to integrate normally. So sec squared goes back to tan. So we'll have 6 tan 3x. So integrate it normally and then divide by the bracket differentiated, which is 3. So 6 over 3 is 2, so we've got 2 tan 3x and plus c. And finally, question 3. So let's change it first to 2x plus 3 to the power of negative 3. So now we'll integrate around the bracket normally, so add 1 to the power. So negative 3 add plus 1 is negative 2, divide by the new power, and then divide by the bracket differentiated, which is 2, so I'll times by a half. And we'll simplify this, so we'll have, well, if we cancel the 2s, that means we'll have minus a half times 2x plus 3, 
to the power of minus 2 plus c. Okay, there's another set of questions here, so if you want to pause the video, give these ones a go, you can. And press play when you're ready to go through. Okay, question one. So we're going to integrate around the bracket normally. So we'll add one to the power and divide by the new power. We'll then divide by the bracket differentiated, which is five. So we'll put times one fifth which gives us 15 times 1 plus 5x cubed over 15. So the 15s are going to cancel, which just leaves us with 1 plus 5x cubed plus c. 4 cos 2x next. So when we integrate cos, we go to sine. So if we integrate normally, that would be 4 sine 2x. And we'll divide by the bracket differentiated, which is 2. So over 2, which is 2 sine 2x and plus c. And the last one, so we've got 16 times 4x minus 1 to the power of minus 2. So we'll integrate around the bracket normally. So add 1 to the power and divide by the new power. So 16 times 4x minus 1 to the power of minus 1 over minus 1. And then divide by the bracket differentiated, which is 4. So I'll put times 1 quarter. So that will give us so 16 times a quarter is 4, and it's divided by negative 1. So that's negative 4 times 4x minus 1 to the power of minus 1 plus c.